Welcome to ActiveType.com. In this session, we are going to see how we are going to install uh, IBM order management system. So I have given a link here from IBM website. This site uh, describes what are all the different ways we can perform installation. There are four steps or four ways given here. Um, so if you look at the first one, which is performing GUI based launchpad installation. Uh, the next one is GUI based installation without launchpad. And the third one is performing text based interactive installation. And the fourth one being silent installation. These first three ones has uh, one unique thing where uh, when you're trying to install, if there is no installation manager, it automatically get installed. So I have just noted over here on these first three steps. Whereas in the step four, the installation manager has to be installed, uh, then only you will be able to continue with step four. So today we are going to uh, install the application using uh, option one, which is using uh, launchpad.exe. Uh, so I, I will show you how to do that. Uh, in the option two, uh, like for example, um, in the option one itself, I can just to show you where exactly these files are available. Like if I go to the installation folder, you see a separate installable, which is launchpad.exe and also launchpad64.exe. So using this, we will be installing. Uh, this is given in an option one. And then the option one, uh, two is without uh, installing using launchpad, which is nothing but you need to go to installer image underscore the operating system name and then there is a file called user uh, install.exe so that will be for us here uh, we are using a 64 bit uh, windows machine so but if you have a different operating system you will have a different folders here but uh, for uh, you know understanding purpose i have just taken only the windows uh, uh, 64 bit version if you go in uh, inside you have this particular exe file which is user uh, install uh, which is application so if you just double click on this and you follow the uh, screens given um, you should be able to install using option 2 on coming back to option 3 uh, it's the same as like uh, option 2 but only one additional uh, information which is hyphen C so you have to open a, a command prompt and then you have to go to this particular location and then you have to uh, you know run this exe along with option C option C is nothing but it's a command line so it's more of a text based um, th this is good if you are using a Linux or uh, a based uh, Linux or Unix based uh, um, you know uh, environment you should be able to use this particular option then the fourth one being the silent installation. Uh, under silent installation, you have three different uh, steps. Uh, basically, I would say either you can use uh, the recording using GUI based or the text based. So these both are almost pretty much similar to what you have it here above. But the only the difference is this one not really going to do any install. All it's going to do is skip install, but record everything, uh, you know, the information what is keyed in and then it stores this response.xml file into this particular folder. So this particular file can be used here uh, as an input and you should be able to run the uh, install and the installation log will be stored into this particular location. So that is given as a hyphen log option. Um, on this particular text-based interactive installation, again, this is just a recording. So these first two options under option four is used for mainly just record, um, get the inputs from user, uh, store it into a file and use them in this particular option, uh, you know, C uh, under, uh, you know, option number four. So uh, you might think that, uh, you know, why do we need all this, right? So one simple example which I'm given is like, assume we are having a team of like 10 to 20 member team and there are new team members coming in kind of stuff. So all we can do is we can have a common setup across everyone. We can just do this response.xml and we can store it part of 
uh, any um, like SVN or any Git uh, uh, version. And from there, you should be able to you know ask the user to perform installation, uh, which gives uh, uniformity. Everybody will be having uh, same data, same information, same folder structure. Uh, you know, so it will become more easy to you know identify any issues or uh, debugging purpose. So we are today going to use the the launchpad.exe, which is option one. Uh, but before going there, uh, we need few other information as well. So which is I'm just uh, taken here, uh, which is like we are going to set uh, a YMS home where exactly our YMS will be installed. Uh, you can look at that. Uh, you know, if you do not have this folder, go ahead and create it well before the install. Then identify the Java home uh, and also identify the uh, JDBC 6. Jar path. And also, I have come up with uh, the additional um, ant task attributes and compiler attributes, uh, and also uh, the database information which we need. So, I'm going to start with install. So, I'm just going to try with this particular one, Launchpad 64 bit. Here it goes. Just do select language, do OK. Okay, so we are just going to do install of enterprise edition over here. So system first identifies if there is any IBM install manager is being installed. Uh, in this system, this is going to be a press install. So, so uh, it's first installing the IBM uh, installation manager. Yeah, now we are able to see the next step. Uh, so it's showing that it's going to install first uh, IBM installation manager with version 1.7.3 and then it's going to install uh, version 9.4 of uh, order management system. So we are good with that. Just click next. Just you need to read the general licensing terms and then do an accept here, continue. So here, uh, basically, it's going to show you where exactly these particular ones are getting uh, installed. So um, this is shared directory location, and this is a, a install uh, manager directory. I'm not going to change any of these steps. But just to take a, a note on these uh, directories, uh, maybe needed later. Okay, here it's going to show me where exactly we are going to install this. So I want my uh, real uh, folder structure as this particular one. Uh, so I'm just going, that's my installation directory. Continue. Here uh, it shows you how to select a couple of languages if you want, but just English should be good. Uh, just I wanted to test sometimes uh, some of the multi language, so I'm just selecting a uh, couple of uh, languages, French and German, I like to, and then just continue. Okay, in this particular screen, you will be able to see uh, finally what and all we are going to install. So the first one being the installer gen manager, we are good with that. And then order management 9.4. In this particular one, the product files are by default selected. Yeah, let's have that as it is. And then I like to have the reference installation. Uh, real time, it might not be uh, needed, but for uh, testing purpose, uh, you know, we will be able to use some of the enterprises and warehouses provided by uh, the uh, YMS tool itself. So I like to install the reference implementation. So I just selected that. Just click continue. Should be fine. Click continue. <coughs> here you need the uh, JDK directory again. So I have which I have already taken out here. So I just go ahead and 
capture the installation directory and just do a browser as well just to make sure that that's selected there good so i'm going to do next now it's going to ask a database information so i'm entering this oracle and then we need uh, database user id password confirm password catalog name so all this i'm going to fill it out from this particular one which i already taken it so here my username is uh, sterling94 so i'm going with that my password is same so I'm to enter them and then the catalog name going to be xe and then the host name here going to be local host and then the port number it's a default uh, port so uh, it's 51521 schema name schema name is always in the capital letter same as a username so i'm going to type s t e r g so I will, now we need to add a jar files over here. So which I have already selected the jar file path uh, from the Oracle installation. Uh, I'm going to just take that, add additional jar, and I'm going to select that particular uh, you know, location. So here I'm going to select six jdbc.jar. So, okay, so I did twice, so I'm just removing once. Okay, now you can do a validate connection. The database connection is successful, so you're good. Click next. Okay, next. Here uh, it's going to ask these additional parameters, uh, which I have already taken out. So I'm going to take those numbers. Um, so I'm going to put it here. Okay, the next one here, I'm going to select this particular one. I'm going to just in here. Um, this is just for Windows um, based on the uh, recommendation given by IBM, uh, but always you can change uh, based on your uh, RAM size. Uh, we feel uh, this is uh, much better um, performance. Go click on next. Okay, so it's kind of kind of saying that what exactly we are installing and also the size and everything. Uh, and also the language what we have selected and just I'm going to say uh, install. Uh, this installation is going to take uh, quite some time. Uh, it could be vary from uh, 20 minutes to uh, 30 minutes. Uh, so I, I'll wait uh, until the install happens and then I'll show you uh, how the uh, success screen will look like and where we can uh, look for the uh, logs uh, to validate that the installation is uh, successful or not. Yes, now we can see that uh, the order management software being successfully installed and you are able to see the green color tick mark over here. A um, couple of ways we can validate. If there is a failure, it's going to tell you that um, the installation failed. Uh, and also you can click on the view log file. So basically it says that the log files being generated at this particular location. So I'm going to copy this location and directly visit this place. Uh, most of the time these logs are uh, you know, hidden. So let's check it out. I'm going to particular log. Okay, so this is the log file, XML file being open. So I'm going to open that using edit plus. Yes. So uh, in this particular one, you will be able to see the each and every step being performed and totally um, how much time it took to this particular uh, install. Uh, when you are installing, uh, we suggest to have uh, the minimum like 8 GB RAM uh, so that uh, you, the process will be uh, much faster. Uh, this particular system had a little um, low configuration. So it, it took very long time to uh, install. So I just warn you that before install, just make sure that you have um, a minimum 8 GB RAM so that uh, the process gets finished uh, you know, much faster. So this is one file where you can look up uh, you know how much time it took and if there is any failure it's going to tell you in a detail and also uh, you can look at this file as well.
So this file going to show you, uh, you know, so many uh, information like what exactly happened and how exactly it went. And also in the end, you should see this particular log called install complete. So when you try to install multiple times, the, the new for, uh, uh, files will get generated in this particular place. So um, here you will have a list of log files as well. So you can click on each one of them and you will be able to view uh, you know, error when, if there is any error occurred. Uh, if you see uh, some error like uh, the file being already in use, um, all you need to do is just restart your computer and try re uh, reinstalling. Everything will go fine. Um, we, have, we have faced such uh, errors in the past. Just wanted to uh, you know, tell you that. So now um, I'm just coming back to the OMS uh, folder. Uh, if you look at that, we have all the files being um, you know, installed. Looks pretty good. Uh, so just make sure that we, if you look at that, you have some of these folders been there, uh, especially like bin uh, and totally we have uh, 40 items, uh, which is the, after the fresh uh, install. So yeah, assume uh, everybody should get, uh, you know, same files. Uh, maybe it might differ because I have added some other uh, languages as well. If you don't select it, it may be a, a different count. So don't worry about it. It should be close to, uh, you know, 35 to 40 uh, items uh, in your uh, OMS install folder. In the next section, we can see how to uh, build this uh, var file and uh, deploying it in a, a WebLogic server. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to activeguide.com. Thank you.